This is a sample video for problem number 20 uh, in chapter 11. And you see here I've already drawn the picture. This is the dart. This is the target. Here they're stuck together. And they're, this is after the collision, so it's moving to the right. Here it's not moving at all. It has swung up to a stop. Here the dart's moving, but the target is not. So these are the three key pictures, right before and right after the collision, and then when it swings up to its highest point. We talked about in class when to apply conservation of momentum and when to apply conservation of energy. We're going to apply conservation of momentum from 1 to 2, so right before and right after the collision. We're going to apply conservation of mechanical energy from 2 to 3. I'm going to go ahead and number these pictures. It's picture one, picture two, and picture three. All right, so let's start by doing a momentum problem. Momentum at one equals momentum at two. And then I've got the dart's momentum, so mass of the dart, velocity of the dart, plus the momentum of the target. The target's not moving. So that would be plus zero equals here, they're stuck together. So mass of the dart plus mass of the target times the velocity in the after picture. Since they're stuck together, I'm going to go ahead and just call this V2. In the problem for number 20, they gave you mass of the dart was given. They gave you mass of the target, and they ask you to find velocity of the dart. So in order to find this, if we know everything but this, we got to figure out what is V2. So right now we only have one equation, uh, but we have two unknowns. So we're going to have to go ahead and come up with another equation. So to do that, we're going to apply conservation of mechanical energy from 2 to 3. So ME at 2 ME at 2 equals ME at 3. Why? Well, there's no collisions or anything, so it's just a pendulum swinging up to a stop. Here, it has a height of 0. To find my reference level, it has a height of 0, so it's all kinetic. Here at the top, it's got a height, but it's not moving, and it's all potential. I'm going to write it out a little bit more than that, but that's the idea. So once again, here at the bottom, it's moving, but it has no height. So the potential energy at 2 is 0. At the top, it's not moving, so it doesn't have any kinetic. Or... 1 half m, the velocity at 2 squared, equals the mass. And this is the combined mass, so I should literally be writing this as mass of the dart plus mass of the target times v2 squared. Because they're stuck together, so I'd have to add the masses. Equals the mass is added together. There's a picture of 3. It's still stuck together times g times h. The masses here are on both sides of the equation. They cancel out. And now we know what g is. h was given in the problem. So we can solve this equation for v2. Once we get our answer here for v2, we can plug it in over here and get our answer for velocity of the dart. This is just a sample video. Um, stop there. And normally I would finish off the algebra. Uh, let me know if uh, you had any difficulties watching this. Uh, and you can obviously still also use this for review. I'm going to go ahead now and quickly solve it with variables since that will be more useful and slightly more difficult. That will be needed for the lab. Okay. So I'm leaving problem 20. You would plug and chug in here, get your answer for V2, substitute in here, the one thing you might mess up, don't forget you have to convert the height to meters. You have to convert the height to meters. 
And don't forget that there's a square here. So when you're solving for V2, you'll have to take the square root of both sides. So I'm going to solve it for variables. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 2. So 2GH, take the square root of both sides. So V2 is square root 2GH. By the way, could you use that to get V2? Sure. Now I'm going to take this, and I'm going to plug in that value right here. So I'm going to rewrite this line. And now solve for velocity to dart. Just divide both sides. Just divide both sides by mass to dart. Back for problem 20, you could just plug into here and get the right answer as well. That's it.